In the backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic, the world witnessed unimaginable consequences in all parts of life, economic, social and socio-political. The burden of disposing of untreated used gloves, masks and PPE kits became increasingly prominent as the world faced wave after wave of variants and the trials that came with the same. As the pandemic went through its highs and lows, there was an unprecedented rise in piles of unused PPE scrap, the dangers of which were overlooked initially. Data from the United Nations suggests about 75% of plastic PPE waste related to COVID-19 will end up in landfills or the sea. So, how does an act as Hindu come into the equation? Seeking to bring about formidable changes in the society, the students of Enactus Hindu intersperse business and philanthropy to aid those in need as well as guide the deprived through the ingenuity and expertise that we develop over time. Through our needs assessment, we found out that more than 50,000 tons of biomedical waste had been generated in the first year of COVID-19 pandemic itself, a significant portion of which was PP scraps. The pandemic painted a grim picture of our country's unequal reality, visible to the impoverished majority. This divide became painfully visible during the pandemic, be it a shortage in hospital mattresses with only 13.6 beds available per 10,000 people or the problem of homelessness in general. But the story doesn't end here. Once used by a COVID-19 patient, Mattresses are either burnt or thrown away to prevent transmission of the disease. Seeing opportunity and connecting the dots, we at Enactus Hindu sought to tackle this two-pronged problem, the generation of biomedical waste on one hand and the dirt of mattresses on the other. Taking inspiration from the UN-recognized initiative Shaya, we launched Project Firban in January 2021. By means of social entrepreneurship, our project, Project Firban, innovates to repurpose PPE scraps and turn them into sustainable and multi-purpose mattresses. So why did we choose to produce mattresses in particular? And what is their relevance today when we see relatively fewer cases of COVID-19? Firstly, the pandemic is not yet over. And perhaps more importantly, the utility of these mattresses extends far beyond COVID. Homelessness is a significant persisting problem in India with an estimated 1.8 million of the population living on the streets. Under Project Firbin, our primary customers are donors and NGOs that help us channelize these mattresses to the people in dire need for them. In doing so, Project Firbin has done its part in fulfilling the UN Sustainable Development Goals 1 and 11, dealing with the issue of poverty and paving the way for increasing the standards of living for the homeless. What other SDGs has Fitman worked towards? Catering to seven out of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, Project Fitman has made a sustainable impact on the people and planet in just 17 months of its operation. Through the consistent efforts of our beneficiaries, we have successfully upcycled and reused 450 kilograms of unused PPE scrap from being burned to ash or accumulating in landfills and rivers, posing a threat to marine habitat. We are also bridging the gap of inequality by directly impacting the lives of 150 plus people from lower income groups. In collaboration with My Lok Tantra Foundation, a non-profit NGO, our beneficiaries underwent six months of training from June 2020 onwards that involved selecting the IGPP scrap and then braiding it into a mattress using the nails on the wooden board. They were also trained in stitching the bed sheets that we acquired through the donation campaigns into covers of our mattresses. PPE mattresses provide a sustainable solution for waste management. Moreover, they are lightweight and compact with an average weight of 5 kg. The USP of our mattress is the low cost. With a price range of merely Rs 350 to 400 for mattress, our product provides affordable comfort. After extensive research, we decided to utilize unused PPE scrap made from propylene as our primary raw material. We collaborated with two firms, Naisha and Hospital Sotec, based in Faridabad to broker an uninterrupted supply of raw material which is transported from Faridabad to our production centre in Noida. But you must be thinking, where do these cotton covers come from? We came up 
with the sustainable idea to make use of old forgotten bed sheets lying in the back of our wardrobes by making them into cotton covers for our mattresses something rarely provided by other mattress manufacturers the members of inactus sindhu have till now collected 150 bed sheets for this purpose by successfully conducting several bed sheet donation drives at various north campus colleges and even in residential colonies it's moving on to the sale aspect of our product once our mattresses are ready to be sold we reach out to ngos and donors who then channelize our mattresses to our secondary beneficiaries that is the homeless and since our data shows that 90% of our products are delivered to ngos and donors who work for the upliftment of the homeless transporting our product we are currently using local vendors to transport our mattresses in the delhi ncr region and are actively working to strike a collaboration with a courier agency to expand our operations across the nation project philbin has thus far employed 10 to 15 women beneficiaries of the my loktantra foundation to produce mattresses with a retail price of rupees 300 per mattress with an additional rupees 70 for shipping to this day we have shipped over 70 mattresses a commendable feat for a project launched during the pandemic The mattresses are made using PPE scraps with an estimated cost of rupees 100 per mattress. The fixed costs include those of wooden boards and nails which come out to be around rupees 500. Hence, total cost incurred to this day is approximately rupees 7500 while the total revenue earned till date is rupees 23000 which gives us a profit of rupees 15000. This profit is treated as the earnings of the beneficiaries and in act as Hindu keeps no part of it. Every good project is like a double edged sword having its own set of advantages and obstacles that it must overcome what does a sword analysis of our project reveal our strengths lie in the uniqueness of our product the affordability durability and sustainability of our mattresses is what makes our project stand out from the rest the invaluable feedback we receive from our customers is a testimony of the same At the same time we strive to overcome our weaknesses like unstable logistical support tap into opportunities for commercial sales and deal with threats like heavy competition and relatively fewer pp generation as compared to before Since its inception in the offline world in 2021 project Firban has satisfactorily fulfilled 70 plus orders creating a revenue of rupees 23000 Evidently, we have been able to generate a great economic impact by generating employment opportunities for a large group of beneficiaries. Through profitable bulk orders, Project Firban has tried to make its beneficiaries self-reliant by increasing their average income so far to rupees one thousand forty-six. We have created social impact by selling our mattresses to donors at low costs. This helps us to contribute in enhancing the comforts of the people in need and creating social impact. We have initiated various beneficiary development programs through the symbiotic collaboration with My Lok Tantra Foundation. We have held online as well as offline financial literacy workshop in our institution to enrich the blue collared workers here. India, being the second largest producer of PPE suits, leads to a waste generation of more than 200 tons every day. Project Firban creates environmental impact by contributing towards a cleaner environment by using the PPE scraps and aiding in waste management. In a span of just one year, we have received an overwhelming response from the didis who are working with us. These are women who have overcome several social and personal obstacles in their lives. India ranks 120 among 131 countries in female labor force participation rates and the rates of gender based discrimination remain unacceptably high. India could boost its growth by 1.5 percentage points to 9% per year if around 50% of the women could join the workforce. We at Inactus Hindu choose to realize our goals through women empowerment because we believe that true progress can be made by bringing women on an equal footing and giving them the opportunity to realize their potential. हमारे यहाँ हिंदू कॉलेज की दीदी आई थी कदमन से हमें गद्दा बनाने की ट्रेनिंग दी और हमें अच्छा लगा पैसे कमाया आर कुछ काम दीजिए हम लोग कमाएंगे घर बैठे नहीं आगे काम दे और अच्छा लगेगा हमें काम करने में देर इज ह्यूज स्कोप फॉर अपस्केलिंग द प्रोजेक्ट 
Uh, the project is not only uh, providing a solution to the menace of plastic waste, but is also a source of livelihood for these uh, marginal women. Gaining strength from the commendable job done by our beneficiaries till now, we aim to expand our project Pan India. After successfully tackling 70 plus orders in less than a year, we now expand this project to grow by fulfilling approximately 20 to 25 orders per month. For tackling orders to our full potential, we plan to incur a fixed cost of Rs. 1000 for purchasing two wooden boats in the coming year. Our estimated incurred cost over the next year will be close to Rs. 31,000. With this, Firwin's projected revenue will be Rs. 90,000, witnessing growth percentage by 291%. In order to increase utilization and sale of this toxin, we have begun developing smaller items made of PPE, such as mats and cushions, to attract a larger pool of customers. Our beneficiaries have been trained in these newer techniques to enter the next phase of our project. Despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, Project Firbin was a wonderful learning experience for all of us. Creating impact and changing the lives of our beneficiaries through our efforts provides us with a great sense of accomplishment and we hence wish to expand our project to more cities and states in the near future. Kabhi sanction na karo ki vichar shi pratibad na kriko ga ek chota sa samu dunia badal sakta hai. Darasal, keval yahi hai jisne kabhi kuch patla hai. And this was Project Firbin of Inactus Hindu. A step towards waste management, affordable comfort and employment generation.